another video, and today I am playing Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Just a second. I need to make sure that that fan is not making any noise because it's really annoying me. So, uh, I, I just got back from a party and I'm about to go to an event, but uh, <clears throat> let's record this because I really do want to record it. Um, and I am going to be uh, talking through this first battle because uh, I. This is the first video that I have of Pokemon, so it's got to be a special video, and I hope it is a special video because I'm trying to make this as fun for me as it is, fun for you as it is, because I'm actually really excited to be doing Pokemon. I've wanted to do something like this for a very long time, but I've never gotten around to doing it. Uh, I wanted to do, like, th uh, this kind of thing with a certain game. You know, I was thinking of Zelda, but then, you know, Peanut Butter Gamer, Rabbit Luigi, it's like, oh no, okay. That would be like, oh, you're just rippling off. So I decided to do a Pokemon, which I've never seen anyone do. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. And uh, yeah, we're in the Slowpoke well right now. And we're going to beat the uh, Proton, I think it is. But uh, yeah, I'm going to speed up this battle now. Because who cares about Team Rocket Grunts when you can fight Proton? Okay, yeah, it's Proton. All right. I hate you, Proton. You are a bad trainer and nobody loves you and other stuff like that. Uh, I think there is a... I think there's a hidden item right there. Yep! I, I have a knack for just seeing things and being like, Oh, I'm so smart, so I'm gonna go up to it and I'm gonna be right. I have no other team rocket. Drone, do you know that I am going to kick your butt? Because I am. Well, you're stupid and easy and stuff and nobody loves you. And, uh, since you're you're facing a boss. You should probably save, although this boss is actually a really easy one. Uh, surprisingly, because most of the executives are actually kind of hard. But, um, yeah, you're probably gonna want to save right here, so. Yeah. What do we have here? I am awful living as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. Now, he is actually a pretty simple one uh, of a Team Rocket executive. Like, especially, like, all of Team Rocket right now is really, really underleveled and really, really easy to defeat. So, you shouldn't be having trouble with them. If you are having trouble with them right now, you should probably train your Pokemon a little bit more or get a better Pokemon. Because if you're having trouble with this, I think either it's your first time playing Pokemon or you just uh, aren't as good uh, as some other people. But, um... No matter what, if you're having troubles, it could be just you don't like encountering trainers or something, but I strongly recommend that if you don't yet, whenever you see a trainer, you really need to go fight them. It, like, the experience is essential in any kind of Pokemon game. That's my Pokemon pro tip of the day. I actually kind of like the ring of that. Should I do that? Let me know in the comments below. Right now! It's good, I didn't see it coming. Well, I just kicked your butt. I'm gonna kick everybody's butt in Team Rocket. You know what I mean? So, yay, you won, you won. Oh, it's a slow poke. Kurt is so happy with you. Way to go, Gold. Team Rocket's taking off. My back's better, too. Let's get the heck out of here. So now that you're out, he'll tell you that he can make you Pokeballs. Uh... Alright, so, you'll get a fast ball from him, and then, if you want to make Pokeballs, you can just get Apricorns, and, yeah. Uh, yellow, I cannot remember. I think it's, I'm just gonna put one green Apricorn in, because I, most of Kurt's balls are bad, but, you know, if I see a friend ball, I'll get that, probably. 
that's right, I'll give you my grandpa's number. Now, I, I strongly recommend you do this if you're gonna make uh, a bunch of Pokeballs or something, because he'll call you when they're done and you can come pick them up, so. Uh, I'm gonna get this Apricorn right here. But, now it is time for the Pokemon Gym. But before I go in there, I am going to heal up my Pokemon right now. So, uh, see you then. Yay, Pokemon Gym. Okay, so if you talk to this guy, he'll tell you that he's Master of Bug-type Pokemon, don't like fire, flying-type moves are super effective, too. So, yeah, you're probably gonna wanna use uh, your fire-type if you got Cyndaquil. That's what you're gonna wanna use. And I don't think there's many other good fire types in the beginning, so yeah. I'm gonna try to fight every single trainer in here, so I'm just gonna go along this one first. You, if you wanna just skip straight ahead to that, you're going to have to go on the left bug. But uh, this actually got really revamped from gold and silver. Okay, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna kick your butt, you tan, you tan bug catcher. So yeah, now that I've fought him and I don't need to do absolutely anything else, what we are going to do is we are going to get off of this. They really need to speed that up. Uh, we're going to get on this and we are going to go I'm going to speed this up because it's really... There we go. I love that feature. That's so cool. And it's another one of those tan bug catchers. You know what, bug catcher? You were tan and I'm going to beat your butt. I was surprised that that bug catcher had a uh, bee drill, but uh, yeah, we're about to have a double battle, which is kind of cool because we don't have those that often. But uh, yeah, if you insist, we'll be your opponent, and I'm gonna kick your butt with both of my Pokemon. Spoon and Soul are the dreamed. Oh, why did I just do that? God. That was really stupid. Uh, we can actually fight a trainer if we do that, so I'm gonna do that quick. And fight another one of those tan bug people. I, I tan bug person. I'm gonna kick your butt. Okay, I just realized this, but Kualava is kind of scaring me now because it has these red eyes, and it's like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> it just, it's like, Penguin, I'm gonna kill you, Wayne. I don't know. I'm gonna kill you, Batty Boy. Ah! 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 Bad Penguin and Punish. Alright. Hello. How's it going, Bugsy? So, because I'm an idiot and I don't know better, I'm gonna save right now and I'm not gonna heal all my Pokemon because they don't need healing. They're just so awesome. Uh, you probably shouldn't do that because I'm just acting like a Pokemon pro when I'm not one. So, yeah, save before you do this. And fight him. I'm Bugsy. I'm never really fun to come to the Bug Town Pokemon. My research is gonna make me with the authority. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Uh, what is that? Nobody cares. Bugsy, I'm gonna kick your butt. Mm. But. Alright, you were challenged by Leader Bugsy. Leader Bugsy sent out Scyther. Oh, Scyther, how I love and hate you. Well, first off, you are a good Pokemon. I just hate it when someone else is using you, okay? You are like the most annoying thing when someone else is using you. I'm very sorry for that. But it's true. Focus energy. Why would you do that, Scyther? Super effective, and then it uses that. It's citrus berry, so we're gonna go for Ember over and over again, and then it's gonna use Quick Attack again, which I find kind of weird because I think Scyther has better speed than Spoon, but I don't know. 
I'm not sure, I just think so. So Spoon is actually kind of low on health now. Uh, but you know what? Spoon's just such an awesome Pokemon that I'm not even gonna care. Oh, uh, it's gonna send out Metapod. I- why in God's name would you have a Metapod as a gym leader? Is that like your po- is that like, you know, like I'll use- if I had a Metapod, I would probably use that as my excuse to get out a bunch of, uh, revives on people because Metapod is kind of a useless Pokemon. Because, you know, it only knows Harden. Kakuna. Uh, I think Metapod and Kakuna you can catch in different games, but... Metapod I know you catch in Heart Gold, and Kakuna I know you catch in Soul Silver. so... So yeah, Spoon just owned everything, because Spoon is just that awesome. Spoon is now level 20. Uh, I feel bad for... I actually can't. Spoon wants to learn the move Flame, flame Wheel. Okay, let's do that. Uh, let's delete Smokescreen. I never use some Smokescreen. Uh, okay. Whatever. Spirit learned Flame Wheel. Hooray! Player defeated Lita Bugsy. Oh, that's the end of it. Gold got 1800 for winning. Yay! Well, amazing, you're an expert on Pokemon. Rise to Gold received the Hive Badge from Bugsy. This badge makes it, I think it's up to level 40 traded Pokemon. No. 30, okay. Pokemon that I'll cut outside of battle will, uh, TM89. Can't remember what this is. I think it's... U-turn, okay. That is a good move, okay? Teach that as soon as you, like, have your entire party, see if any of the Pokemon you know can have it, because that is a... Why did I... That is a good move, okay? That is a really good move. Uh, I like to use it if, uh, if I'm in a competitive battle, especially, it's a good move because I start out with a really fast Pokemon that knows U-Turn, and I can use U-Turn and get out a Pokemon. For example, if I'm using, like, a, if my opponent is using a Psychic type, so I'll bring out the Pokemon with U-Turn that's really fast, I use U-Turn and I'll get out a Dark type, so their probably Psychic type attack will not have no effect on me at all. Hi, Liz. Oh, hey, good afternoon. What's up? This is Liz. Listen, Liz. You know about Moonlight? You might have to move Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think in this game you actually have to feed a bunch of Oran Berries to uh, Mill Tanks, but I'm not sure, so. Okay. I hate getting out the Pokemon gear, but uh, that's just me. So. Uh, before we end this part, we actually need to do one thing. Oh, welcome to the Pokemon store. We were first. Oh, would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes, indeed, I would. Actually, I, I have time. Yeah. Okay. You restore your Pokemon to health. Yay. They're healthy now. Please come back again anytime. Well, I will come back again sometime after I have switched out to Soul. And just a sec, just a sec, I need to, I need to do something. Oh yeah, what do I need to do, what do I need? oh yeah, I need to fight my rival. Hi Richard, how's it going? Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What, you beat them? Ugh, quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. I think this Richard is like bringing, <laughs> bringing <laughs> crap, like real dick Pokemon, Pokemon rivals to a whole new level. Jeez, this guy is so mean to you. Spike. Okay, actually, that, that's not that bad because Thundershock's got like 30 better. Yeah, guess it. Why did I not get that critical hit the first time? Because that would have instant killed him, right? Soul is now level 18. Level up. I'm not gonna- I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm gonna try. Croconaw, why would you do that? Oh yeah, because I think it's got a Zubat and a Croconaw now, so it really doesn't matter what it sends out. I'm still gonna be it. Scary face, okay. You lower my speed. I understand what you did there. I see what you did there. Soul, use Thundershock. Um, yeah. Hi, Croconaw. Let's go on. I'm gonna use Thunder Wave because it's using Scary Face on me, and I'm scared now. So we'll use Thunder Wave. Okay, there we go. Guess who's faster than you? That was a waste of Scary Face. This is I'm gonna beat you. Thunder Shock. Best part about this rival that it doesn't heal his Pokemon because 
I think, he, I think, does he heal his Pokemon later in the game when he actually cares about them? Or does he ever care about them? I'm not sure. Slow use tackle. So, uh, yeah. Bye, Croconaw. Uh, Slow gain 550 EXP points. Wait. And, uh, last Pokemon is Zubat. Level, I don't know, probably 15 or something. No, 16. Okay, I'm an idiot. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Excuses, excuses. Alright. The foe Zubat, you supersonic. I absolutely hate you now. Okay, Soul. I believe in you. I believe in you. Soul. Soul, I believe in you. Yes, Soul. See, Soul, Soul Silver, this is why I love you. You bring luck to me. You bring luck to me and my Pokemon. Thank you, Soul Silvers. Alright. From now on, whenever, like, there's a Pokemon, only one because my Pokemon were weak. Excuses, excuses. Alright. Well. Get him away, won't make such a game my way. Alright, well, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna get through here quick. Do I have any repels? Please don't. Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Can I buy repels? I'm not sure. Um, the forces watch over by its protector, stay out of mischief. Okay. So basically. You'll go on Alex Forest now, and there's basically something you have to do to get- Sorry for that rude interruption by the Caterpie, but uh, yeah, basically this guy will- My back's gonna be angry, that far fetch the cut trees, can you catch him for me, far fetch? Okay. So basically this is- I'm not sure if this was in uh- Okay, that's great. Catch them, thank you. I'm not sure if this was gold and silver, if this was in gold and silver, but uh- but yeah, it's kind of a cool puzzle. It's not the best best one on your thinking behalf, but it, you know, it's kind of fun, so. Basically, you just sneak up behind it. It has to be completely behind it. It can't be on the side. So, uh, that's one far-fetched. There's one more. Okay, yeah. So, just come through here, and we are going to find... Oh, gold found a rebuttal. Put the revive in the medicine pocket. Okay. So there's a far fetched right there. And basically, you can kind of. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to send it this way. And it's going to run this way. You need to do it from here, but uh, basically. Uh, you'll kind of trick it into doing this. Sorry, I screwed up. Sorry, I screwed up the puzzle already, but uh, you do this, and then you're gonna sneak past the branches and sneak up behind it and catch it. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you got me both of them, thank you so much, my boss is Pokemon. Okay. So now his boss will come up and be like, oh, where's the Farfetch'd? Oh, my far and Farfetch'd, you found the first kill of So now he will give you HMO1, which is cut if you didn't know that, because it was kind of obvious. But basically, you'll just teach it to a Pokemon. Struck on my people be first rate in 10 years. Yeah, no thank you. But I'm gonna come back in the next episode, like with a bell sprout or something, that can learn cut because I don't want to teach it to either one of my Pokemon. I don't like to teach that many HMs unless it's a good HM, like I'll teach my Pokemon Waterfall or something, but I think this is the house. Uh, basically, after you do this, if you go in their house, in their hut like thing, uh, if you talk to this guy, uh, no, not this guy. It's the other guy. If you talk to him, uh, he'll give you the charcoal. And, you know, it's not the best item later in the game, but for now, I'm gonna give it to, uh, I'm gonna give it to Spoon. Because, you know, he's a fire type. Those fire type moves, kind of logical. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all we have time for today, guys, because I actually have to be somewhere. But, uh, Actually, uh, I'm gonna end the video off while I buy some repels, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy Poke Week. I'm gonna buy about 10 repels, but, uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy Poke Week. Um, and I'm really happy to be doing this again because I have a lot of fun making, uh, these kind of videos, but, uh, yeah, it, the game... It's always the perfect timing. 
like literally it's always the perfect timing because my game screwed up in uh part three uh and now it's screwing up right now right as i was about to end the video thank you so much for being a nice game but uh yeah it's just a glitch because i play on the mac and you know it's a glitch they're gonna fix it but uh wow that was ironic Hopefully that'll keep on my side for recording. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be on my girl today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>